Girls at every state school will soon be given the option to wear pants if they want to, and it's in part thanks to a determined eight-year-old. Asher Karras and her mum have been campaigning to update uniform policies for the past year. Madeline Slattery has more. They're the girls who literally wear the pants. I can go in the monkey bars and flip upside down a lot easier. Students at Macrob High School have been sporting trousers since the 90s. It's comfortable, but it's also because I ride my bike to school. While well, girls at Albert Park Primary opt for skorts. The skort is a nice compromise, but during winter there's no long pant option for girls. While most schools already allow female students to wear trousers or shorts, there's still some work to be done. On a preliminary analysis, that we did, one in four um, public schools still don't offer the choice of pants and shorts um, all year round. Simone Carice formed Girls Uniform Agenda when her eight-year-old daughter Asha was told she couldn't wear pants at her Catholic school. It's not just the boys' uniform, girls can wear it as well. When you put girls in dresses and skirts, they do exercise less. They do less steps than their, the boys. Simone started a petition which has attracted 21,000 signatures. Now the state government will ensure public primary and secondary schools give girls the choice. By just giving all school councils a degree of guidance about making sure that they can wear shorts. While the majority of schools that already allow girls to wear pants give them that choice in winter, in summer there are fewer options available. There is however a growing trend to roll out shorts for the warmer months, like here at Macrob, which introduced them about two years ago. And they wear the, the shorts with their blazer, they look really you know, smart and um, it's just another option. Madeline Slattery, Nine News. A Grade 2 student who hated wearing a school dress has helped change Victorian law. From next year, girls at all government schools will be allowed to wear trousers and shorts instead. Riding a bike in a skirt isn't an option for Asha Karras. The eight-year-old and her mum started a uniform revolution to allow all schoolgirls to wear trousers. It's not just the boys' uniform, girls can wear it as well. Currently, around one in four state schools still insist girls wear dresses. But from next year, all Victorian public schools must introduce a gender-neutral uniform policy. There is evidence to show that when you put girls in dresses and skirts, they do exercise less. They do less steps than their, the boys that are playing alongside them. Girls can wear uh, shorts or trousers to encourage physical activity, then that's a good thing. At the McRobertson Girls High School, students have long been allowed to wear trousers. This is, for me, largely a practical choice, actually. A lot of schools that I've been to do have the skirt-only policy, and we, we did find it quite limiting. While the majority of students here still wear dresses, the elite school is waiting for a big order of shorts to arrive next week and are confident that the new trend will catch on over summer. It's 2017. Uh, it's, we're living in contemporary times, let's wear trousers or shorts. It's a non-issue. Some independent schools have embraced the move, but many others are sticking to tradition, while one little girl simply applies the law of common sense. Pants are better, they're more comfortable and you can run a bit faster. Jackie Quist, 7 News.